Hello everyone and welcome to this online ethical hacking course. Now, before we begin, I would like to talk about a few things that you might be interested in, such as legal side of using the things that you will learn in this course. And also, you are probably wondering what could possibly make this course different from any other course you attended online or any other course you watched on YouTube, Udemy or basically anywhere else. So let me first answer the second question. Well, there is a difference between this course and other courses that you probably watched. First of all, I decided to split this course in the three sections, um, the beginner section, the intermediate section and the advanced section. Now, the thing that uh, differs this course from other courses is the advanced section. Basically, what we will be doing in the advanced section is uh, making our own tools. We will be coding our own advanced tools and not uh, the basic kind of tools. Most likely we will be coding the our own Metasploit framework, for example. Now, for those of you who know that is, um, it basically means we'll be coding our own command and control center that can receive many connections from other PCs, not just one. We'll be coding in the advanced reverse shell, backdoor, key loggers, and many other tools used by ethical hackers. Now, if you don't know what these tools do yet, we will be covering all of those in the beginner and in the intermediate section, but we'll be covering the tools from other people. And in the advanced section, we will be making the same tools just by ourselves. Now, the programs, the programming languages that we will be using will be Python and C, um, because I find those program, uh, programming languages to mostly used by ethical hackers. C is a low-level language. Basically, it is uh, harder than Python, and uh, things that you can do in Python in like three lines takes you about 20 lines in C. But we will be covering both of those programming languages. Uh, Python so you can make things faster, and C so you can understand things better. We'll also be covering in the advanced section a little bit of assembly language, which we will be using for our exploit development part. Now, for you that are wondering what we will be doing in the beginner section, we'll be covering the installation of VirtualBox and Kali Linux. VirtualBox is basically a program that allows us to make our own virtual machine. We use virtual machine so we don't crash anything in our main machine. If we mis make a mistake or if we delete a file we shouldn't delete, it will basically just stay on the virtual machine. And if it doesn't work anymore, we can just delete it and start over again. As far as the Cal Linux, uh, the Cal Linux is a distribution, basically an operating system that is used for ethical hacking and penetration testing. Now, you might be asking why is it used for that? Well, basically, it comes pre-installed with some of the most known tools used for ethical hacking. So, it comes with a bunch of programs that we will use and cover in the next tutorials. In the intermediate section, however, we will be covering those tools that are pre-built into Kali Linux, and also we will be covering some of the tools that are not built into the Kali Linux. We will be downloading those tools from online GitHub repository from other people who made them. And as I said, later in the advanced course, we will be making our own tools. Now, there is also one more important thing I should mention, which is the legal use of these methods that you will learn in this course. You should not be using these methods on any device or website you do not own, or on any device or website you do not have permission to use. It can get you into some serious trouble and possibly a jail time if you make a big mistake. So please do not test any of these methods on devices you do not own. We can make all of the things we need in our virtual environment and we can do our attacks from there. Now that's about it. Uh, I hope you will enjoy this course. And I hope I see you in the next lecture where we will be downloading VirtualBox and Kali Linux. Hope I see you there and take care.